Hi everyone, this is Abrar. Welcome to Abrar Knowledge Channel. In this video, I'm going to show ISO 9215 some basic questions, basic awareness question. And this will help you to write any certification exam. And this also will increase the awareness on quality management system. That's the reason that the uh, theme is being given. Let's learn ISO 9001 2015 version. So in this one, what we are going to see is there are three benefit. So this is being created in Google form and the same link, uh, the what you can see on the uh, descript, I mean, on the screen, the same link will be given and you can take any number of time. The first point is you can take the assessment any number of time. Number two is once you take the assessment, you will get the entire summary. Number three is you will also will get the certificate. And uh, all these scores are being inbuilt. That means it will auto grade the your answer and everything is going to be very, very interesting. And these questions are very, very fundamental and basic of quality management system and ISO 9001 2015. So the scope, what we're going to cover up is ISO 9015, particularly class number seven, that is support all the way to class number 10, that is improvement and the basic of ISO 19011 that is auditing guidelines for auditing management system. So please stay tuned till then you will get the amazing piece of information with the link so that you can take any number of time. So let me proceed. Uh, I'm going to give this my email ID and then I'm going to give. So whatever the name you give, the same thing will get printed uh, in your certificate. Yeah, so let me give Abrar. Maybe I can give my name as Abrar Knowledge. Okay, and then I'm gonna give next. So this is the questions comes up. The first question, each question carries two marks. That means 15 into 230 marks. The minimum grading percentage is 80 percentage. Let's have a go. Audit must provide an information on the effective implementation and maintenance of the QMS. Yes, that's a basic rule, right? That's what you will find it in ISO 19011. Let's go to the next point. Reword, rephrase, or paragraph, paraphrase the information you receive from the RDT to verify that you have a correct understanding. For example, you received some information from the RDT and you wanted to be 100% sure about whether you, your understanding is correct or not. What you can do is you can reword and you can just ensure that if you have not understood it, you can just request RDT uh, or uh, you, if the RDT is not understood your question, you can rephrase it, reword it so that you convey the right questions to get the right answer, right? So reword, re, re, uh, paraphrase, the information you receive from the RDT to verify that you have a correct understanding. Why? Why do we need to have a correct understanding? If you have a understanding which is not authentic, which is not correct, what will happen? You will put down those things in audit report and the audit report is going to be generic or it will not serve the purpose of even when RDT is taking the, taking the action against your finding, they will not be able to do that if the action is not, if the findings or the description is not concrete. Yeah. So yeah, rephrase, please feel free to rephrase and both the side. Let's say if you are not getting it, uh, anything from the RDT, you can just uh, restate it so that you can restate and check whether you understand is correct. Or if the RDT is not understanding it, you can rephrase uh, your wordings, everything. Review and approval for suitability and adequacy is a key requirement of 7.5.2 that is documented information, right? Yes. And let's have a go to fourth one. The providers of outsource operation processes must be controlled in the same manner as the external provider of product and service. The answer is yes. When changes are made to operational processes, the consequence of, uh, consequences of unintended changes must be reviewed and action taken to control adverse effect. Yes. 
asking open ended question that encourage others to talk right and share what they know for example if you ask very close ended question let's say do you, hope you are aware of quality policy right the answer will be yes or no right you can ask like can you please elaborate what is quality policy so that is something called open ended question that means you can take uh, you know you can just use wh uh, type of question like what when why how and and so on right so the answer is yes let's have a go to the next one excel origin document come from the interested party the interested parties could be supplier could be customer and shall be controlled yes which of the following operational planning and control so uh, select all that uh, may apply so that means uh, i'm going to select uh, establishing the criteria for process and acceptance of product identifying controlling the risk and opportunity determine the requirement and providing planning output that are suitable for the organization process all so for more information you can take a read on class number 8.1 let's go to the next class here yeah? while performing audit for class number 7.2 that is competent auditor shall look for dash uh retain document information retain appropriate document information as an evidence of competence right for example training record training plan adherence pre skilling re skilling effectiveness of training all given of option but not limited to so the answer is all given options okay let's go to the next question the scope shall also include in the scope or out of scope ge geographical location product or service process all the all above information so all so generally when you say scope it is not only geographical uh, one it is also product or process for example let's say calibration process not applicable for you then you can exclude it by giving justification that this is out of scope yeah oh, so 7.1.5 uh, so iso 9001 2015 class number 7.1.5 monitoring measurement resources refer to what calibration people and methods calibration let's go to the next question refer iso 19011 that is auditing skills and exer page number 3 35 what does this table convey this table like human interaction versus on site human in interaction with the remote no human interaction with the on site and new human interaction with remote right you have all of possibilities now the question is so you, you whether the organization should embrace one or any or any of the things so one or two or any method four can be embraced by an organization and then you have a next question each stage of design and development must have its own control and shall have a retained document information yes if you re read the class number 8.1 you have you know the first one is you have a planning and then you have input then you have a process then you have output then you have plan changes all these stages the record is necessary the record word is called retain documented information let's go to the next one internal audit 9.2.2 mrm 9.3.2 shall be conducted dash one once a year from the standard requirement once a year half yearly at plan intervals answer is plan intervals the standard does only say that you uh, know at plan intervals but organization must define in their procedure what is the frequency and then the last i mean the 7.3 uh, 7.3 class number 7.3 awareness includes quality policy quality objective benefit of qms and implication of not conforming with the qms requirement what what an uh, employee should know for example in this class 7.3 is not only leadership it is outside the leadership right so it, this applies to all employees right employee should know only should aware of quality policy or objective or benefit or impl implications of not confirming the answer is all that's what 7.3 talks about it let's go to okay i'm going to send send me a response and then submit i have submitted this response and it also as i said in the beginning it also will give the score and you can take any number of time the survey and let me just see 30 out of 30 like all 15 answer are correct if you wanted to zoom out out like what is the right answer everything will come in green that pin it shows uh, right answer and also it has the uh, example also as well right so you will get all this information and more importantly 
you will also will find a certificate let's see the certificate is generated yes the certificate is generated so this is how you will get the certificate so abroad knowledge let's learn iso 9000 and score is 100 percent and so on and so forth so i hope you enjoyed uh, this video and please do like uh, like subscribe my channel you have a wonderful day ahead